Hey everyone, it's Gina and welcome back to my channel and the Curly Hair Care for Beginners playlist. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you join my YouTube family. We talk all things curly hair and I break it down very simple and easy to follow so everyone can do it even if you are a beginner. So today's video is going to be all about the actual steps to applying hair products. Now it can be so confusing. You might see a million different routines out there. If you're searching on YouTube, you see everyone has their own different technique when it comes to the order in which they apply their products. So I'm going to be sharing with you the order that I like to apply products and what works best for my hair. So today we're going to be going through shampooing, deep conditioning, and then applying styling products. So I'm going to use like a style prep and then a curl cream and a gel. So we're going to go through those and you'll get to see my winter curly hair routine at the same time. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're first gonna start off in the shower. Now I typically like to detangle my hair before I shampoo and that's just to prevent any breakage and get rid of tangles. My hair is usually pretty tangly after a couple days of not washing it. So I'm just using the Diva Curl No Poo Decadence. It's a really thick moisturizing conditioner. So I'm applying that all over my hair and then just detangling with my fingers. And you wanna be very gentle when your hair is wet. You can start with shampoo first, but I just find that since my hair is fine, it's pretty thin, it just gets roughed up too much when I go straight in with shampoo when I have all these tangles from not washing my hair for a couple days. So I like to remove all those loose hairs and just get rid of all the tangles before shampooing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo my hair. I'm using the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Shampoo, and this is one that has been working really well for me lately. I love how it actually foams up quite a bit, so that's what I'm gonna be using next. And I don't find that this strips my hair too much, which is really nice that my hair doesn't feel too dry afterwards, and I can actually still get my fingers through it, which is awesome. So I don't always find that I need to add conditioner afterwards. Sometimes I just have to on the ends a little bit, but here I'm actually going to be using a deep conditioner in just a minute. So I usually don't apply conditioner right afterwards unless if my hair is feeling really tangly and I just need to apply a little bit just to where I can get out of the shower and actually start using the deep conditioner. So since my hair felt pretty moisturized still, I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap my hair up in my hair repair towel just so it's not dripping wet so I can get out of the shower and start applying my deep conditioner. So I actually like to apply my deep conditioners after I shampoo. You might see some people like to use them beforehand, but I just feel like I want to keep those nutrients and those moisturizing properties in my hair and not shampoo them out. So that's why I prefer to do the deep conditioner after shampooing, but that's something you can experiment with. But I just think that deep conditioners make your hair so soft and just give you so much moisture that I wouldn't want to strip those out with a shampoo. So for the deep conditioner, I'm going to be using the Diva Curl Deep Sea Repair, and this one is a really great protein treatment. So my hair responds really well to protein. It definitely makes it curl up and just bounce back. So this is definitely one of my favorite deep conditioners. So I'm just going to apply this all over my head and then just make sure that I massage it in so it really soaks in. And typically you would do your deep conditioners after you shampoo and get your hair cleaned and then before you style. So deep conditioners are something that you actually do rinse out. I mean, you can leave a little bit in, sort of like a leave-in, but I like to rinse mine out and then use styling products. So that's typically the order that I do when I'm using a deep conditioner. And I usually use a deep conditioner about once a week. So I'm gonna be using my hot head heat cap, which is just a cap that you put in the microwave to heat up your hair while the deep conditioner is setting, just to kind of make it soak in a little bit better and just gives your deep conditioner a little bit more, if that makes sense. Um, after I'm done letting that sit for about 20 to 30 minutes, I rinse out my hair really well with cold water and then I'm just scrunching out a little bit of the excess water with my hair repair towel and now we are ready to actually go in with our styling products. So these are the leave-in type products. So the first one that I'm using is the Diva Curl Be Leave-In. Now this product is really interesting because it's a curl plumper. So it's actually sort of like a primer or a prep product. Some people think of it sort of like a leave-in. So usually a leave-in conditioner is what you would go in with first to add that initial boost of moisture to your hair before you actually go in and apply your other styling products like curl creams and gels. So I kind of like to use this as a first step type of primer. Now I've also seen where some people use this after their curl cream, which I did experiment with doing that and it didn't mix as well on my hair. It just didn't work out as well. So I prefer to use this as the first thing that I put on my hair. And this just helps clump the curls together and helps give me some volume. You can also use this for refreshing and stuff, but I like using this as the very first product. So if you don't prefer using this, you could go in with a leave-in conditioner and that is something you would use during this prep step. 
Note that this step is actually optional. I just see optimal results when I actually do use this product, but you don't have to. You can go right in with your cream or your styling products and you can totally skip the leave-in step. So now I'm gonna go in with the Diva Curl Styling Cream. Now this is the product that's going to do most of the work. So this is going to give me curl definition. It's going to help clump my curls together, give me ringlets, add moisture, it's important to note that most curl creams do not add a lot of hold. So if you were looking for that frizz-free crunch that you get from a gel or a mousse, creams are not gonna do that for you. They do help to tame frizz. It's definitely better if you use a cream versus no styling products. It definitely helps with frizz, but it's not gonna give you that crunchy hard hold because it's just a soft moisturizing cream. So. This I think is crucial, but in the summertime, a lot of times I skip using creams altogether and I go straight in with gel or a mousse and I don't need a cream. But if your hair is dry, especially in the winter time, I like layering a cream underneath a gel or a mousse because you wouldn't want to apply a gel or a mousse with dry hair. You need that first step of that moisture first. Now I have experimented some with just using a cream. If you're someone that likes to just use one product and you want to use just a cream, it might look good for the first day, but it's not necessarily gonna last, especially not on me. I find that my style does not last multiple days, so it's gonna look frizzy by the end of the day and it's not gonna have any hold. Having a little bit of a crunch is good, especially to make your hair last longer. You can always scrunch that out. You can soften it up by scrunching um, and it's going to give you that hold to make your hair last up to multiple days. So after I finish combing through the cream, I like to break it up with my hands and that's just so I don't have too many clumps. I like to break up some of those curl clumps that the Denman brush gave me. And now I'm going to go in with the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. So this is the gel that's going to actually seal all that moisture in, prevent it from escaping, and also keep some hold in my hair. So Anything like a gel or a mousse is what you're gonna wanna use as your last step. So that's more of like a sealing product that's gonna keep the hold in there, lock in that moisture, give you a little bit of a gel cast. Depending on the strength of the gel is the amount of hold that you're gonna have. So Diva Curl has various strengths of gel. They have the light defining gel, um, they have the ultra defining gel, which is obviously a little bit more hold. And then they have the curl maker gel, which is a spray gel. I actually like that one better. I was just out of it. So I was using the ultra defining gel um, because that has more hold to me than the light defining gel. So depending on your hair type, you can pick which gel that you want, or you could use a mousse. Um, just make sure that it's alcohol free and silicone free. Um, but that is what's going to give you that longer lasting style that is going to just last a lot longer and hold up if you're in a humid environment. So now I'm just going to absorb some of that excess water and product using my hair repair towel. And then I'm just taking my Denman brush, which is available in my Amazon store. It really helps to give me good ringlets. So I'm just kind of spot defining some areas around my crown and around my part just to give me a few more ringlets. And then I'm going in with a little bit more gel on my hands and just scrunching that through the ends. I like layering my products like that just to make sure I get really good hold because my hair just does not hold very well, so I need pretty strong hold to keep the frizz at bay. So now I'm gonna go in with my diffuser and diffuse until my hair is 100% dry and we are done. Um, the other step that some people like to do is apply a sealing oil over top, like a serum. You can do that, I just don't really prefer oils because I think they break up the gel cast too much for me, um, but that would be the last product order that I think people might like doing, is just adding a serum or an oil on top. So that was it for this video on how to apply curly hair products and the order in which you apply them. I hope you found this helpful. If you did find it helpful, let me know in the comments down below and you can leave any other video requests or questions that you might have that you want me to make a video on as part of this series. If you have not seen the rest of this video playlist, I will link it down below. I have videos on tons of different topics, everything from transitioning to naturally curly hair, to taking care of it, styling it, different product application techniques, all of the above. So I will put that link down below. Anything that I used in this video, like the products that I use and the tools, I always list everything out and link you to where you can order them on the blog post that goes with this video, which is the first link in the description box that sits right below this video. So thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, and I hope to see you back next week. Bye everyone.